right what is going on guys back with another video and in today's video we're gonna be restoring the headlights on the mustang i got some um was a sylvan restoration kit for the uh headlights they're mm, they're not horrible but they're starting to haze over like they lost the clear coat to them so we're gonna you know clean that up apply the clear coat back on it and make it look real good now this is my first time doing this so i'm not a pro by any means i'm not giving you a step-by-step -step guide i'm just going to be following directions as close as possible so i don't mess up my headlights even worse so yeah i'm going to roll the car in the garage and start working on this but before i do that i'm gonna hit you guys with a nice warm start because i already drove my car today so i'm gonna get you guys with a nice warm start and it's very hot outside too so it's not gonna be that loud like it usually is and then we're gonna roll the car in the garage let's get it Okay, so I got the car pulled into the garage, but I'm about to start prepping it. Uh, these are the headlights. I don't think I, I don't think I showed it. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but you can see like the line right here where it starts at. Completely just hazed out. I had a headlight tint over this, and when I went to peel it off, it just like ripped off the clear coat, and it left some burn marks inside the uh, or on the lens. But yeah, hopefully I can sand that down to where it's not that visible anymore. I'm I'm pretty sure that's not going away. That's just burning to the lens. But I know I can get the hazing to go away and get it looking a lot better. I cannot know how I don't know how to control this camera. I really don't. This is a different camera. This is not my GoPro. If it was my GoPro, I'd be you'd be like pow 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 pow. But yeah, <laughs> hopefully I can get the burn marks to go away on it because that has been on there since um. I think since the last time I took the tent off or put the tent on, it just started burning up. And you can already see like that. You didn't think you may think that's burn marks, but that's the residual tent that's still like on there. So yeah, I'm gonna start getting the stuff ready. This is the product that I'm gonna be using, the Sylvan three step kit. Or is it two step? I think it's three step. Yeah, three step. But yeah, this is the product I'm gonna be using, the Sylvan Sylvan three step kit right here. I heard really good things about it, seen it on um Project Farm the guy he used different like I think five different um headlight restorations and this one came out as the best. We got R6 right there. But um Yeah, this one worked out the best, so I wanted to try it and see if it worked out for my car. I mean, because my car is not horrible, it's just I want it looking a lot better and looking a lot cleaner than what it used to where it used to look like or what it used to look like. So yeah, let's let's get into it. Okay, so these are the items that the kit comes with. It, this is a step one, surface activator. Step two, clarify. Please drop it. Step two, clar clarifying compound. And then step three is the clear coat. So it, it shouldn't take that long to do. They said it's like 30 minutes for one hit or for both headlights total. So I got the instructions right here that I'm going to be reading closely off of so I don't mess up my headlights. Even worse. Got the sandpaper, we got the wipes, and we have the glove. I don't know why they in included a glove but I guess I'm going to use it now so since they included it yeah let's get into it okay so step one I had to apply the surface activator and let it sit for about 30 seconds let me set a timer for 30 seconds because I am horrible at keeping time but that's supposed to loosen up any debris, any like loose corrosion that'll just easily come off with water. So we're gonna, I'd spray that down real quick and next I'm gonna hit it with some water and hopefully a good bit of that stuff comes off. And you don't wanna use all of it because you have to use, whoa, you gotta use it on both headlights and then you have to also use it at a step, I think it, it says at the end of step two. So you don't wanna use it all, you don't wanna use all of it. So in the very first lens, but it does say use it generously. All right, so let's spray it off with some water. All right, so now it's time for the sanding. It wants you to start off with the 400 grit, then move on to the, what is it? 400 grit, 1000 grit, then the 2000 grit. We're gonna start off with the 400 grit sandpaper. Fold it in half like this, like a taco. And it does say says to keep the lens and the sandpaper wet. 
So we're gonna spray it down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side real quick as well. Okay, let's see if it's done. Um, it looks about done. I could hit this side a little bit more, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna hit this side a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie, that sandpaper wears out pretty fast. All right, that's much better. And that's how you want it to look. Right there. Now see how it's all hazy like that? There's still that little um, like streak of where you can see like where the haziness started and where the clear lens started. But for right now, that's actually really good because we have more sanding to do. I'm gonna jump onto the passenger headlight, get that one all sanded down so we can be on the same step. I was gonna do one after the other, but the sandpaper has to be folded and I have to wet both. We have to wet one side, and the other side is getting wet too. So might as well just do both of them at the same time. So I finished up the right side or the passenger side one. So now I'm going to hit this car with a thousand grit for approximately five minutes, adding water when necessary. Then I'm going to hit it with a two thousand two thousand grit sandpaper. Also repeating that process of adding water when it's necessary for five minutes. The sandpaper they provide is pretty good. It just doesn't last long at all. At all. <laughs> and like the one that they, the, this is what they give you to work with pretty much. Ooh. This is what they give you to work with. I thought it didn't have to give me like better leverage. They give you a, a square, like a rectangle that's meant for both of them. And I've just cut it in half. So I wouldn't use the sandpaper on, use both sides of the sandpaper on the, uh, one lens by accident. All right, so now I'm on to the step two. This right here, clar clarifying compound. Don't say clarifying. Hmm. I don't know how to read. But I'm gonna put a quarter size on that, wet the lens and buff it in into the lens on the, what's I think it's a white one, white towel. Okay, so you see how well that cleaned up. Let me just give you a quick comparison. So this is it without the uh, UV clear coat. This is just the buffing. And this is exactly after I sanded it with the 2000 grit. So you see how clear that is and that's not even the final step yet and it's already that clear all right i feel like the longer you buff the compound on the longer or the better result you get but they recommend five minutes but i did a little bit longer than five minutes and it showed up really nice i gotta clean it off thoroughly and dry it and it said it's gonna be a little hazy but i don't think it's gonna be hazy at all really so let's get into that part all right so i gotta use the activator one more time for this lens yeah i got a good bit left so we Let that sit for 30 seconds. Where's my phone? Okay, so we're on to the final step, which is the step three UV coating. And this will ensure that the headlights are haze free and they are protected from elements. So I'm going to read on the instructions on how to apply this. And then I'm going to, you know, apply it. Yeah.
Okay, so I just added the clear coat on there and man, does it look amazing. Okay, so this is the finished product right here. As you can see, it's all nice and even, all shiny, no haziness. As you can see, it looks really good compared to the fog lights, which is still hazy. I'm going to take care of those soon. Just got to get around to it. I ran out of product. I thought I could get it all in there, but they only made enough for just literally those two headlights. So, <laughs> but yeah, it looks so good. Like there, I have enough um, activator and UV coat for these, but I don't have enough sandpaper and I don't have enough um, clarifying coating or clarifying compound for those. Oh my goodness, it just looks so good. So good. And this is, this is my first time doing this. I'm no pro by any means. So anybody can really do this. It was, re it was really easy. All in all, it's a really great product. Product. All in all, it's a really great product. It had came with great instructions, easy to follow for anyone to do. For anybody to uh, follow along, it was really easy. I got it from AutoZone. I had to order because they didn't keep it on shelf for some odd reason, even though it's like, that's kind of like AutoZone's brand, Sylvania. Kind of, it kind of is their brand because they always have Sylvania thing, Sylvania things. So it was a really great product. I'm kind of happy that I was able to fix the headlights after I completely destroyed them at with the uh, headlight tent because I had to take it off for the pass registration. I didn't even realize that I wasn't able to have headlight tent on because there's a lot of cars in the car community in my area with headlight tent on so they must go to some special place what that uh does, that allows them to pass with headlight tent on or something like that but yeah ever since i took it off it just completely destroyed the headlights it left burn marks it took off the uh clear coat on the lens it just completely destroyed it and the sylvania restoration kit completely fixed that i am so happy that my car doesn't look like a piece of crap anymore from the headlights so I think just fixing the headlights alone made this car look so much better on the front end because like the front end has like some rock chips and everything like that on the uh, hood, on the front bumper. The front bumper has like some dents and stuff to it. But fixing that literally made it look so much better on the front end. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys didn't already please like the video. I am sweating like crazy because it's hot out here when I was doing this car. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and yeah, peace out.